Hello. In this lecture, we are going to complete creating this dice by using this sketch. So download these two files from the description and see if you can create this dice. For this exercise, all you have to do is finish adding the dots to all the sides of this dice. For example, let me maximize this. You have your front view and that is side one. You have your bottom view that is side two. Your right view is side four. Your left view has side three with the three dots. And by side, I mean the side of the dice that has the number of the dots. On the top view, it has the five dots. And on the back view, it has the six dots. So we have this dice. Look at this dice and see how you can add all those dots to this dice. And another thing I should note is that you are not using the extrude cut to create this dot because all you have to do is use what, what is here to create the dots on each side. For example, if I section this dice, you can see that this is a revolve cut. And to give you a hint how you are going to create this, you are going to use the pattern. So look through this pattern and see which features you will use to create each dots on each side of this dice. Pause this video, try to create it on your own. And if you get stuck, you can come back later and watch how I did it. Thanks. To complete this dice, I'm going to come here and select my front view just to put it on the front view. So we have our front view and our front view has the side one with the one dot. For our second view, which is the, that has the two dots that is on the bottom. So I'm just going to rotate this here. So this is the side we want to create another dot down here. To do that, I'll come to the linear pattern. I'll select linear pattern. And on direction one, I'm going to just select this edge. So I want a dot coming down this way. And the distance is going to be 8.5 because it gives you that distance over there. So that will be 8.5. Then I'm going to select direction two and I'm also going to select this edge. So I'm drawing the circle going this way and also coming down. And the distance coming down to is also going to be 8.5 over here. So I'll type in 8.5. And again, for the quantity is two up here and the quantity for the direction two is also two. Then for the feature, and I can just come down I can either select this dot or I can come down in my feature and find that dot and select it in there. So I have my preview is showing me my dots, but I don't need these two dots. I only need this one and that one. So what we will do is we'll come to instances to skip and we would select this purple dot on that one and select that one. So for the ones you select the purple dot, it is going to remove those pattern out of your feature. And now we have the two dots and we'll click OK. And that is how we create the side two. Next, we'll create the side three, which is on this side. To create that, we will use the sketch driven pattern. And to do that, first we will create a sketch on this face. So select this face and select sketch number two just going to move it over here i'll create a point over here and i'll create another point over here and i'll add my dimension i know from this point to this point is going to be 8.5 so if you look those points are the same so 8.5 This point to this point is also going to be 8.5. And we'll add the distance in the middle. So half of that is going to be 4.25. And we'll do the same thing here. 4.25. So those points represent the center of those two dots. So we want to create the dot coming down this way. So we have the center of those dots. Once we have our fully defined sketch with our dimensions, 
we will exit the sketch then we'll come back to the feature tab i'll come here and i'll select the sketch driven pattern then on that selection which is your sketch selection i can select the sketch on the screen i can click on this drop down and select the sketch here for the feature you want to pattern it is this dot so we are going to select that dot so it is going to put those two it is going to put the two extra dot on those sketch points that we create then once we have our preview everything looks good we we'll click ok and that is how you create side 3 and so let's go on move on to side 4 for side 4 that is going to be on the right view and to change your views you can always come here and if I select the right view it's going to bring me over here so on side 4 we want the 4 dots so to create side 4 what we'll do is we'll create an axis in the middle of this dice to create an axis select the front plane so first we can select axis over here we'll select the front plane so we want an axis that is going through this dice and that will be the front plane and the top plane you can see it's creating the axis at the point where those two planes intersect we'll click ok and if you don't see your axis you can come to this eyeball over here and click this and it should show it okay so now to create those four dots what we will do is come down here select circular pattern and for under here the per, uh, pattern axis will select our axis and features will select this dot and we want to revolve it let make sure you change this to 360 and the number of dot is going to be 4 there you go so we are revolving it 360 4 equal spacing and once everything looks good we'll click ok so I can hide my axis now I don't need it so that's how you create the 4 side 4 let me hide my sketch because I don't need my sketch too so let's move on to side 5 side 5 is on the top right here again click the front view that is side 1 and to get to the top view click here and that is giving you side 5 side 5 we are going to create that the same way we create side 3 we'll select this face add a sketch we can add four points right this point and this point add a relation to them so select both point holding down the control key and add a vertical relation do the same thing over here add a vertical relation then select these two points add a horizontal relation you can see those on the center line over here select these two points again add the horizontal relation now we can add our dimension from here to here is 8.5 from this point to this point is 4.25 and we'll do the same thing over here from here to here is 8.5 and from the center point to that point is also 4.25 so we have a fully defined sketch exit your sketch again we'll come to feature select the drop down sketch driven pattern for our sketch selection you can select our sketch on the screen and for the feature we we'll select this dot it's going to create all those dots for you again i'm getting this preview because i have the partial preview over here you can also use the full preview but i'll use the partial preview everything looks good and i'll click ok and that is how you create side five then let's move on to side six side six is on the back 
this is size 6 for this we can use the linear pattern so what we would do is we would select the linear pattern so select this drop down select linear pattern then for the direction we'll select this edge and we want the dots going in this direction so look at this arrow over here it is pointing in this direction so we can flip it over here and let's select the feature we want to pattern so which is the circle so i'll select on that feature i'll select this circle so just to give me the preview so i'll come back here i know the number of circle i want is three so i'll increase this number to three and the distance from center to center is 4.25 so i'll change this dimension to 4.25 4.25 so that's giving me my three circles for direction two i'll select direction two I'll select this drop down and the distance is going to be 8.5 because it is right here which is from this circle from this circle to that circle is 8.5 and here we also want it to be two so we don't want it to be three we want it to be two and it is three coming this way and two coming down so everything looks good in our preview we'll click ok and this is how you create all the side for this dice thank you i hope you find this exercise helpful and it is a fun exercise as well and if you find it helpful please like and share it with other people as well thank you and i'll see you in the next lecture